How's it going guys? Panther Films here and today we're going to be reacting to Season 1, Episode 12, the season finale of Andor. This episode is titled, Rick's Road. Now last episode we followed Andor after he escaped prison and he basically hitchhiked a ride to Nyamos where he got a lot of his gear back with another prisoner that escaped and then at the end of the episode he learned that his mother, Marva, had passed away. And because Marva's passed away, a lot of characters are assuming that Andor is going to show up on Ferex for the funeral, which is more than likely considering how last episode ended. It ended with him on the beach, basically looking off into the distance, similar to what happened at the end of his journey. He was on a beach, and that's where his rebellion died in a way for him. But his mother passing away is what gets him to become a rebel properly. And then we had Luthen basically visit Saw Gerrera where they talked about Krieger's situation and Saw kind of got a little bit paranoid about people watching him or Luthen's people watching him because Luthen basically has people everywhere. And then as Luthen was leaving, the Empire kind of latched onto him but then he showed off his amazing piloting skills, killing a bunch of TIE fighters and then dipping out and also destroying the tractor beam. That was pretty badass from Luthen there. He's a, he's a solid pilot. He had some like cool lasers on his ship and stuff. But yeah, so far the show's been really fucking good and I'm super excited to see how they wrap up this first season and set up some things leading into season two. So, let's stop delallying around with this shitty intro and get right into the fucking finale. Oh, is that the kid? In uh, Ferex. They all go into the uh, funeral. Waiting for Cassian. I mean, he's going to show up, right? It is the finale. I remember that from the trailer. That shot. I still want to know what she heard. But at the same time, I like the ambiguity of it. And just a little glimpse of what she heard. No need. Four will take me. Keep it smaller. So how's Khan going to play into this? Oh yeah, because they hung his dad, right? How long you been here? I spoke to Cassian. What? He oh. called the shop. It was a very short conversation. He asked about the funeral. Oh, I was downstairs. No one. Who was that guy that was like listening? Oh, is that Dedra? <laughs> is he creating a bomb? That looks like a bomb. Want another? Maybe just one. He's gonna spill any. Guarantee you, he's got no idea what's going on. Don't be so sure. Yeah, he's working for the Empire. Because he's acting so sly. What, what are them facial expressions? Yeah, that's 100% a bomb. <laughs> what's he gonna do though? Like, throw it at the hotel? Maybe rescue Bix? Why did they hang him, dude? That's so fucked. It's the Empire though. Why does he always like what like wear the same shit? You're gambling again. Oh. Nonsense. It's a lie. It's total yeah. fantasy. Who's telling you this? I knew he'd still be listening. You go to Canto Pite. Do no, don't go there. Don't fucking go there. You kept my promise. Keep your voice down. I oh, can't hear me. Yes, I can, sir. Where would I get the money? That's the question. True. Someone's lying to you. Mm. On that we can agree. Oh, you're here. Oh, she's in Ferex? He's a guy in town. His boss showed up tonight. Mm. Good to see you too. Everything depends on it. I said I know. Is she conflicted? Oh! There he is, lurking in the shadows. Why would he come back? I get it, it's his mother, but it's so risky, dude. Here's the thing, Cassian. The man is Because Vic's Road is where Clem was... Killed, right? Hard to believe, right? That fucking Two CPU minutes. cooler. <laughs> no longer need to clean that before Marvel finds his thing that's in the house. <laughs> At least she, like, passed away peacefully, I guess, you know? Cassian, she's not there! <laughs> fuck. Ooh. What the fuck? What are they, mini vancors? What are you doing here? Just keeping an eye on the place till we sell it. Sell? sell it. How long have they had her for? Like, 50 days? Is a pure idea. Wait, is Luthen on Ferex too? Without battalions that have no idea that 
they've already enlisted in the court. It leaks. Authority is brittle. Oh, is that, um... Oh, I forgot Nemec, I think. Try. Come on. The Rebel's born. Fight back. Kill Dedra. I don't know how Khan's going to play into this. To be fair though, like, Ferex on that map kind of looks like a perfect, like, Wild West saying. Like the gunslinger in town type of thing. Like, look at that. I want him taken alive. I want that message passed along the line. It's just interesting, like, they know he's coming, but I just find it hilarious that they never knew he was in prison. Having her husband dig a hole for himself could be helpful in many ways. Krieger, you're missing it. Someone's being promoted. I mean, I knew he was spying on Mon Mothma. Kind of obvious. It's over. Oh. They walked right into it. It was over before they started. Krieger's dead. Today was about wiping the taste of Aldani from the Emperor's mouth. Find access. Hmm. I feel like the Krieger storyline didn't really do much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I don't think we ever met him, right? Krieger? That's not him. Oh. Sir. The big man. We've been played. Where is he? Behind you. No. Is that the guy that helped him in episode two with the ship, or was it episode one? Hey, what's up, reunion? I feel like he's gonna die. It's the finale. None of this is his fault. It was already burning. He's just the first spark of the fire. Yes. The day comes that those two pull together. He will be an unstoppable force for good. That day is today. It's a finale, come on. Street's clear. I mean, you don't know the street's clear. They could just be, like, around the corner. You take care of yourself. It's too late for that. I want to see, like, this transition. Because how he is in Vogue 1 is a little bit different to how he's been in this. Oh, there's Calm. All storylines are converging on Ferex. It's going to be a big one. What the fuck? Oh, why? There was no need for that. These two are fucking like a comedy duo. He's getting worried. Who's the verdict? Has he come home or not? Don't want him alive? They'll find him, we'll kill him. Placenta. She's watching the mother's house. Forget that. Get up to the hotel. I'll have a look around. Oh. oh wow, he's in fight there. This actually works though. The place where his father was killed is where he's gonna rebel back, right? Yeah, it's a funeral, it started, right? Where's B, the droid? He's got a bomb. Everyone's gonna play a role in this episode. Show a force immediately. This isn't gonna go the way they think. This, like, adds so much to, like, the universe a little bit, you know? Jesus, look at that beard. What a man. Luthen. Oh. Part of me was thinking like Luthen was just gonna look right at Andor then. Where is he? Yeah. Hey, what do you think doing? Yeah, Khan and fucking the sergeant. Uh oh. Uh Khan never saw Luthen's face, did he? He heard his voice, but he didn't see his face. Oh um, there he is, I can see him fucking Santa man. I've got a written unit on the terrace up there. No. I need him alive. What? He knows exactly where he is. You fucking idiot. All for money, man. Khan. The kid's gonna do something, right? He's gonna throw a bomb. But this is so, like, poetic. Like, Marvel was a part of the rebellion, and now Cassian's gonna fight back. And the town, it looks like. Wow. What a great shot that was. Cassian's not there anymore, he's moved. He's not that stupid. Wasting time. God, the build-up, it's so good, the tension. Fuck. He's good. come on, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Throw the bomb, throw the bomb. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. <gasps> Imagine he just shoots out a lightsaber. Name is Marva Carassi Andor. Feels if I can see him. Square. Fucking Khan's obsessed with her. He fucked up, dude. I want you to go on. That's They're fully shitting themselves now. We kept their engines churning, and the moment they pulled away, we forgot them. 
Yeah. I've been turning away from the truth I wanted not to face. See. Come on, Luthen. There is a darkness. Luthen's gonna love this. Is a disease that thrives in darkness. Perhaps it's too late. And it's not. Be fighting. These bastards. Yes. Fight the empire. No, not B, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, fuck him up. Get him. No, he's gonna get shot. Oh no. Oh. Oh, you fucking clown. The bomb's got to play big of all. You gotta get out of here. My mother's here. She's fucking broken. They're like moving the bodies behind the the riot shield. The bomb. Come on. Do it. Yes! That's what I'm talking about! I mean- oh! They can't die? I think Khan died. Like, he was in the middle of that. There's no way he's not dead. <laughs> Fucking Lufin was right there. She's just running into the smoke, not knowing what's in there. <laughs> yeah, fuck him up. He's gonna die, man. I knew it. I'm waiting for it. No. He's dead. Yeah. At least he died fighting. No, not B, dude. Don't fucking kill B. Is she gonna die? Oh, never mind. He's gonna die. <laughs> oh! Fucking pulling a Max Payne. Okay. Dead was alive. Oh. You fucking kill her. <laughs> They're just casually walking out. Khan's gonna save her. Yep, there he is. Yeah, I saved you. But I won't. You don't have to. It's not what Luthan wanted. I mean, to be fair, like, it, like people are just getting murdered. You're bleeding. It's fine. It's not my blood. That's blood. It's nothing. Just say it's not your blood. Give it a whack. Oh, is she on board too? Does she know about Ando? It flies. Are you sure about that? It's Cassian, right? They always freak out with Cassian. Like a Cassian. And she's so like messed up. I love how Dedra never saw Cassian. Stay low all the way to far side sea. The moment you get over the water, you climb. Oh, is he not coming? Get them out of here! He'll find us. Feel sorry for the kid, man. Lost his dad and then like but at least he fought back. What? Oh. He's drinking. <laughs> So interesting, like Luther never saw Andor. Unless he's on the ship. You came here to kill me, didn't you? What game is this? There's no game. No game. Kill me. Oh. I mean, we know it's not gonna happen. Is that it? Yeah. Nice little, like, tease for next season. Like, they're going to be working together. I think, I think there's an after credit scene, so... We'll wait for that. Wait, the prison pieces? Like, the, the things they have to make in the prison? Oh. Oh. That makes sense. That makes sense. Shit. That was a very good finale. Decent setup for next season too with like the Mon Mothma stuff and of course like maybe we'll see more of the Death Star shit based off the after credit scene like leading up to Vogue One. And obviously we'll see Cassian and Luthen teaming up and being a part of the rebellion together. I mean I said this a few times throughout the episode but it's such poetic and ironic justice that the Empire gets their ass handed to them the same place they killed Cassian's dad. And I think Marva kept going down Vic's Road, so it's such, I don't know, it's beautiful that she, like, sparks 
that rebellion in um, the Ferex people. I also, I'm, I'm wondering what Luthan was thinking when he saw that speech from Marva. Was he thinking, like, you know, this means we don't have to do things the way we've been doing? You know, there's definitely planets out there that would help us, and there's definitely people out there that will help us, but we just have to be a bit more engaged with them, right? Instead of, like, hiding in the shadows, now it's time to come into the light. But yeah, I'm really happy with this show. Like, I think everything built up nicely. Like, the tension in that, um, like, speech scene and the build-up with the music, it was so good. But it, like, subverted your expectations a little bit because you didn't expect Cassian to just get Bix out and that was it. Like, he never encountered Dedra or Khan again. So, in that way, like, for Khan's storyline, it's a little bit pointless because he never saw Cassian again and he never got that, like, payback, so to speak. But I think it's fine. Like, Dedra and Khan are definitely... Uh, there's definitely tension there, let's just say that. Like, I was expecting them to just fucking make out in that final scene together. <laughs> like, Jesus. Like, the one question I had to was, what were they making in the prison? And I'm so glad they answered that question. It makes perfect sense, sir. Like, as soon as I saw them and it started panning out, I was like, oh. Oh, I see. I, 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 yeah, the Death Star, that makes perfect sense. But it was hard to put it together. It makes sense why they want so many prisoners, though, and why they won't let people out. Because they need to make a fucking planet-destroying weapon. Yeah, the Death Star's nearly done, which makes sense. I mean, timeline-wise, we're, what, like, five years before New Hope or Rogue One? So it makes sense that it'd basically nearly be finished. So Pegler, I think his name is the guy that talked to Andor last episode, he died fighting, went out like a badass, so like riding a fucking Imperial. <laughs> Just a shame he didn't get the kill. Now, if we want to get a bit critical here with this episode, I don't like that the Stormtroopers hit every fucking shot. <laughs> That's not canon, dude. We know that ain't canon. It's not accurate. I just find it very weird that a lot of like this episode, like you had all the characters basically in one place, but only, like, one or two of them saw each other. You know what I mean? Like, Luthen and Cass were the only two that actually, like, crossed paths in a way. Like, sure, Vel saw Luthen again, but... Like, she never saw Cassian. Same thing with Dedra, she never saw Cassian. Khan never saw Cassian. I'm so surprised Khan didn't die. Like, the shot when he fell on the ground and then the explosions were going off around him, I thought one was just going to detonate right in front of him and he'd die. It does kind of suck that Bix is broken, basically. Also seemed like she was saying things in the wrong order. You know what I mean? But, hopefully next season she's in a better place. Or we might even see her next season, that could be it. But we still have that, like, setup with Cassian's sister. There's something there with that. I don't know what. But it was cool to see uh, Clem again. Fucking putting a CPU cooler heatsink in her... In a pot, basically. <laughs> now, there's still, like, one lingering question that I have. Obviously, there's still more going into Season 2, but the one that's kind of been a big one the past few weeks has been uh, Kino. What happened to him? I mean, they have to bring him back next season. Imagine he's part of, like, fucking Saw Gareva's group. <laughs> or, what if it's some crazy shit, like he got caught again? And then he got used to be an experiment and become Snoke. Imagine. <laughs> That'd be so fucking stupid. But yeah, this show was fucking fantastic from beginning to end. A part of me still regrets not reacting to episode 10 because that was such a great episode and it sucks I uh, didn't react to that one, but it's fine. But yeah, this show was fucking fantastic from beginning to end, but it just sucks that it was so underrated. Like... I barely see anyone talking about this show, and it's a shame, because it's so fucking good. It's some of the best Star Wars content we've had. I feel like most people, if they want to tune into this, they wouldn't like it, because it is very slow-paced. But I love slower-paced shit, especially if it builds up really well, which this show does. And it makes it better, too, when they have like the like the uh, the story arcs, the three-episode story arcs. 
Um, however, I've said it before that that format might get a little old if they stick to that in season two because you can kind of predict what's going to happen. I think the best thing about this show too is the fact that it didn't really rely on fan service. You know, they didn't just bring in random characters that we know of just to be like, hey, it's that character. They've they've added in characters that make sense for the time period we're in, like Mon Mothma and stuff, but they've really fleshed out her character a lot more than any of the films did. And uh, Bevels, right? Yeah, I had a feeling Mon Mothma's um, driver was spying on her. It was kind of obvious. They set it up early on in the season. And it seems more than likely that her husband is gambling. And maybe that's where most of her money went. Maybe? I don't think so, though. No, I don't think so. But the fact that she told him to go to fucking Kanto Bight is ridiculous. Fuck that planet, dude. Fuck that part in Last Jedi. It sucked ass. Stop it. Is it just me, or does it seem like Sinter's a bit more ruthless compared to Vel? Like, Vel has it in her to fight for the Rebellion and stuff and fight the Empire, but she's a bit more... Like, I don't know, human in a way. Like, Sinter's just, like, she wants the mission to be done. You know, she doesn't care about anything else. It's weird. I get why Luthan wanted Andor dead. Like, no loose ends type of thing. But that's just, that shouldn't be the way you do it. You need all the help you can get, to be honest. Yeah, overall, pretty solid finale. I'm looking forward to next season, even though, like I said, it's probably going to be in fucking 2024. But... It's going to be worth it, I feel like. It's just a shame, like I said, that this show's so underrated. Because there should be more people talking about this. It's so fucking good. From beginning to end, it held my interest. Even though we had slow moments and slower episodes, it was still entertaining as fuck. The choreography, the fucking music, the build-up, the tension, the writing, the characters. And it just basically feeling so grounded in the Star Wars universe and you could feel for the characters a lot more. And the fact that the show was a lot more grounded than anything else in Star Wars, that made me love this show. You know, the Empire was very in-depth. There's more to it than just random evil people, you know? Like, there's pros and cons to them. Like, you want to cheer on Dedra, you know, even though you shouldn't, but you love her as a character. I think this finale actually uh, wraps up Star Wars content for this year. Because I think the next thing that comes on, like, Disney Plus-wise and, like, movie-wise is technically Bad Batch, Season 2, and then Mandalorian. But yeah, that basically wraps up my shitty review. So I hope you enjoyed my reactions to this season of Andor, and I will see you, Star Wars fans, for Season 2 of Bad Batch. Ta-ta! And fair.